by a show of hands, how many of you have heard of AI or are tired of hearing about AI in HR? Yeah, so this is what happened. I work for IBM, so obviously AI is all over you know, what we do. And I decided to put some papers together to understand what does it really mean, AI for HR. So I put an alert, my Google alert, and I said every time there is an article or a message, anything pertaining to AI in HR, I receive an alert. Well, because I have an Apple Watch that's connected to my phone and my email, I end up doing this the whole time, right? So what happened is there's way too much information out there. So uh, during this process, I felt a need to understand what AI really meant for HR. And for that, the IBM Smarter Workforce Institute interviewed 20 HR executives that were responsible for implementing AI into HR to understand what are the steps they took to go to this journey. Uh, we spent about 60 minutes with each. Uh, the expertise ranged from talent recruitment, talent management, engagement in culture, compensation, HR analytics, as well as computer science, so a different level of expertise with each. And they told me, well, what are some of the critical steps you must take in order to implement HR? One thing that I realized, however, there was nothing that was really alarming, right? So I'm not going to be showing you here something that you're like, oh my god, thank you, Mariana. But I think it's important that there's a trend that is a human component in every single one of those steps. So let's forget about the idea of AI eliminating HR or vice versa, right? Human becomes much more critical as we're implementing a new technology. So first step, shouldn't be new to any of us, especially strategic HR, is to start with a business case. So how can an AI technology impact the bottom line? The business case should not be complex. It should just have a direct link to one of your key metrics. So if Hiring is an issue. We're going to be talking about the cost of hiring and the cost of attrition, right? Nothing new to us. So it's sort of a business case. What's different this time is, uh, although uh, whereas uh, HR has been siloed as a function for many years, with AI, we're seeing an interaction of different functions. So it's important that as you're creating your business case, that you involve people outside of HR people that is willing to commit to this project, profit and loss, right? So business case should be something that very simple to understand, involve people outside of HR that's willing to commit to the profit and loss. Second, and thirdly, what's your minimum viable product? So which product do we need to create as you're thinking about AI, as you're thinking about your project, What's the minimum viable product that we must establish in order to start seeing some, some, uh, some advantages from this implementation, right? So we don't need to start big. We can start with a pilot. It doesn't need to be perfect. When you think about a chatbot, we don't need to have every single intent created before you release the that, that, that chatbot. You need just to know who do we need to involve and what's the minimum that we have to have within this project so we can show an impact? And then we can make updates, and we can make upgrades so we can implement throughout the organization. Very important. A lot of times, as we go to clients and we start talking about AI, the first thing they say is that we are not ready. You're never going to be ready, right? The thing about AI is it's cognitive. It's going to learn as it goes. So just use the data set that you have at hand and work from it. Once you have established your business case, work with your internal skills. So what are the skills that you have internally for this implementation? If you don't have AI uh, capacity or capabilities in-house, which in IBM we did, but if you're buying it from a vendor, you're going to be focusing on implementation. So look at your team and think about who within our team has the business knowledge Right? Business knowledge to ask the questions with the consumer at mind. So what does the data come from? Who trained AI? How are those recommendations being made? So uh, analytical skills and the ability to form hypotheses 
within the implementation is crucial because your internal customers are going to be looking at you to understand why are you making this recommendation? Why is AI behaving as it is? And lastly, uh, look for people within your team with technical curiosity, right? There's always someone that's interested in how things, how things work, how this technology works, that's willing to ask questions with the business in mind. So implementation of AI does not need to be uh, tied to technical expertise, but you need to have people within your team that's willing to challenge the tool, to act with, as with the customer in mind. And lastly, scaling a solution to an entire organization can be extremely challenging. So when you're thinking about designing a solution, you must employ design thinking. Design thinking is a framework to help us solve problems with three key principles. User-centered outcomes, empower diverse teams, and reinvention. So you need to ask, who are we developing this product for? What are they looking for? Who are the personas that are going to be using that? With IBM, we constantly meet so we can reiterate the needs of the people. Is every employee ready for the same career cycle? Do every employee needs the same type of learning? Who are our personas? And how are we designing those products to meet uh, the, greater, the greater employee population? And when you're thinking about implementation, agile methodology, right? So self-direct teams that work together to unleash motivation, maintain accountability, and implement speed. So ensure that the solutions that you're implementing are co-created by HR, but also people outside of the organization. Oftentimes when we meet, I have my marketing team, communications team, IT, and HR, because they're all gonna bring something to the table, right? It's no longer HR responsibility. So I don't think there's anything new here, but I think when you think about the three critical steps, you as the HR is at the center. Right? You are responsible for bringing the personas and really creating an experience that's people-centered. A few key tips for successful AI adoption. Again, do not wait until you have the perfect solution. We have done the work for you. IBM has spent a number of years in creating and developing AR, so you can come in and use what you have at hand. A lot of times they're going to say, I don't have the perfect job description. I cannot use your AI empowered tools for recruitment. I don't need your perfect. I need a subset. We need to test it. We need to start implementing so we can improve it. Empower people with AI. We saw that the greater AI adoption was done when managers were empowered to override recommendations made by AI. They felt that they know the business better, and they do, right? So about augmenting my decision making, but also allowing them to take charge, right? To see, no. You know what? This recommendation, this inference is not in alignment with what we know about the organization. They felt comfortable and they felt empowered. Issue transparency, as we know, I need to know where did the data come from? How did you become? How did you make this decision? What type of decision tree are we implementing? Why are we making this type of inferences when it comes to decision making? So be clear about the data. Consider language and culture. AI exists within a context. AI learns from different languages and learns from different regions. Whatever you feed into the machine needs to be localized. It needs to be from the same culture. It is dependent upon culture and language. And lastly, because most of your AI, AI applications are going to be speaking with each other, think about this application in a holistic way, right? Just like your HR systems, then now you realize, oh my god, my performance system doesn't speak to my compensation systems. When you're thinking about AI, and the apps associated with that, you should think about how they interact with each other. And that's what happened. Thank you.